I'm here at HPE Discover in Madrid with Paul Miller. And you guys have uh, been busy as always since the last time I talked to you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, ton of new announcements coming out this week here at Discover. First, we launched our intelligence storage, which is all about being built for cloud with new capabilities with cloud volumes to easily move between any cloud, your data, in advancements in InfoSight. So we're really driving a data a simplicity of how you operate your environments with new advancements on storage and then taking InfoSight up through the servers with AI ops all the way up stack, even including into the VMware stack, so full stack analytics now, only company be doing that. And then, as you heard, we acquired Blue Data. Tell me a little bit about that announcement, because that, that, that one seems particularly interesting. Yeah, Blue Data is really interesting. And the way you want to think about Blue Data is what VMs did for deploying applications simpler. This is what Blue Data does for people's AI stacks, you know, Kafka, Hadoop, uh, uh, TensorFlow, those are hard for people to yep. pull together and deploy quickly. And anytime you have a change and you have to go back through everything. So when you all, say it's like what VMware did, how do, how do they make it easier? It abstracts all that away. So instead of having to worry about how to build that, uh, your workflow chain, your tool chain over and over again, it abstracts that away, builds it for you, and so as you're a data scientist, you're dealing with the interface you want to deal with, not having to go deep into the weeds on everything. So it's really great, cool technology, so we're excited about how it's going to advance our ability to help people accelerate AI, ML deployments in their environments. Then the next big announcement we did was what we're calling HPE Composable Cloud. And this is really taking our software assets of OneSphere, OneView, InfoSight, um, and our composable fabric, which was Plexi, and bundling them all together into an ultimate cloud experience. You know, if you think about someone deploying a private cloud, they want to have the AI operations. Yep. They need a fabric to scale across their data center seamlessly. So now we're taking composable from the modular, which was Synergy, out to racks, and enabling this great experience all the way up to hybrid cloud. And then the last big announcement we had was around our new edge line. And with the EdgeLine offering, we had two key announcements within there. First, the first operating system, management system designed specifically for the Edge. People deploying Edges, they need it to be seven by 24, you know, no, no failures at all. If they lose connectivity, how do they reestablish that, right? If you're out uh, you know, at an oil rig and you lose connectivity, you're losing money, right? Yep. So this operating system, is enterprise grade and helps ensure that it's the first one of its kind. Then the next cool thing we're doing to help customers build IO, and IoT and OT applications at the edge is a device which helps link those two. So we have all these OT devices out there, right? Different sensors from different companies, and then you have all these applications designed for the edge. People trying to stitch those together is hard. So what we're doing is building what we call the OT link, which links the application easily to the OT device. So instead of spending months trying to glue those together, you, customers can do it in a matter of days. So really cool announcements going from storage to cloud to edge. So really excited about what we're doing here at Discover. Very cool, thanks Paul. Good.